Batman The Audio Adventures. Brothers and sisters, let it ring throughout the land. A loving day is coming, see the footprints in the sand, all in the sand. Bear me by freedom shoes, gotta tie my freedom shoes, let it shine my freedom shoes. Walk my freedom shoes. My freedom shoes are shiny. My freedom shoes are neat. My freedom shoes protect my freedom feet. Na 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 all right, young people at Gotham, let's give it up for Teen Folk Sensation, A.V. Davey and Hector. Wow, we have a well-behaved group of youngsters out here at Riverwalk tonight. Come on, you kids, let's hear it for courtesy. <laughs> Good one, what? Shut up, Spike. Excuse me, you're very impolite. Ah, go step on a rake, Clean Bean. <gasps> yeah, here's a nickel for the trial, you drip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave her alone. What's it to you, Tommy? Hey, what's with you tonight, Tommy? This whole scene's a drag. Let's go bust windows in the warehouse district. And now, teens of Gotham City, the moment this musical festival has been building to all night. Give it up for the electric soda fountain. Oh, man, the real cornball stuff. We can't leave now. <laughs> I definitely think it's time to bust out the stash. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Butch is holding the thrill pills. You ready to spook your noodle, Tommy? What, seriously? You scored scarecrow drugs? Quality scarecrow drugs. The new stuff. What do I take? I I've never done a real deal fright trip. No? Oh, it's the best. It's like watching the greatest horror movie ever made while you're riding the world's sickest roller coaster. Purest thrills, man. <laughs> Okay, I'm in. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, here. You're gonna want some candy corn to take the edge off the ghosties. Okay, down the hatch. So, how long does it take to... Uh... Wait, maybe you don't take the candy corn and ghosties together. What? Oh, shoot. Did he take corn and ghosties together? Oh, man, I think that was too much. What do you mean, too much? Butch? Man, he's tripping. Look at him, Spike. Butch! Tommy, you okay, man? I don't feel too good, Butch. Butch can't hear you. But I can. Hello, Tommy. What? What did you say, Spike? I didn't say anything, man. You didn't say anything, man. I did. It was a scarecrow. Boo! Uh -huh. Man, he's seriously tripping. But what? What do we do? You are seriously tripping. What do you do? Tommy, listen, this is real important. You gotta... Don't listen to them, Tommy. They're not your friends. Blink once, if you understand me. Good. What? Where are you? Oh, you nut. I'm in your head. Don't you remember? You invited me. Mm, it's nice in here. It's red and warm. I'm afraid there, there, there's no windows and no doors, Tommy, so obviously I'm going to have to eat my way out from the inside. <laughs> what, is, what is that? What, what's making that noise? Maybe it's nothing. Maybe this is all just my drugs. Maybe you're just curled up in a ball on the ground at the Gotham Youth Music Festival and none of this is happening. Or, oh shoot, maybe the concert was hours ago. Hey, where'd everybody go? Think hard, Tommy. Where are you? Anyway. Shoot, maybe the concert was days ago. Gee, you must be hungry. What's that smell? What luck? I've invited some friends over. We're just sitting down to eat. Oh. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy, you're a freak. 
Don't you know you're afraid? And it's delicious. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Um, your fear, Tommy, it's fatty and rich, yet bitter. It's like bone marrow spread on burnt black toast. I want to gobble it all up. Mm. Gobble. Gum, gum. Oh, Tommy. Rude of me. Won't you join us? They made you something special. I'm good. I don't need. Take the cover off the dish. I don't want to take the cover off. Take the cover off the dish, Tommy. What is that? What What is happening? No! Batman! Take him down! Use the grenades! Blow the truck! Time to shuffle off to Buffalo! Please, what is happening? Tell me. You're going to be alright. I'm going to get you out of here. You understand? What? You've been abducted by the Scarecrow, but I'm here to rescue you. Me? You're... You're... That's right, Tommy. I'm Batman. 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 Gotham. The city that never sleeps, because it lies on a bed of nails. Join us once again for a tale of life and death in Gotham City. The calendar says March 1st, but it's just another day in the Scarecrow's reign of terror. The rooftop of Gotham Police Headquarters offers an unrivaled vantage point on all eight districts of the world's largest city. By the last official census, 12 million desperate souls claim citizenship in Gotham, and Commissioner Gordon takes seriously his oath to protect and serve each one of them. But tonight, his immediate concerns are focused on one citizen in particular. Hi, sweetie. It's Dad. How are things at the library? I'm sorry, can you speak up a little bit, honey? No, I, I guess you can't. That's right, it's a, it's a library. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it, you can just listen then. Uh, I wanted to call and tell you that boy that went missing from the youth concert, uh, the Batman brought him home to his parents. But he is in rough shape. Seems he OD'd on scarecrow drugs and got ditched by his friends. And then at some point, why am I telling you this? I thought you said you went to school with this boy. Tommy Zebatelli, I think his name is. No? Huh. Well, boy, I thought that y'all went to. Okay, fine. I just, you know, you're at that age where bad ideas can seem like good ideas. And in case you ever felt pressure to take scarecrow drugs, I mean, what is it they say? It's like watching a horror movie while you're getting sick on a roller coaster. What you mean, me? Three cigarettes today. But that, that, that's it. I'm done for tonight. And then tomorrow, it'll be two. And I promise I'm gonna quit again by the weekend. Wait, wait how did this become about me? Yep, all right. Yeah, okay, sweetie. I love you too. Where are my smokes? I assume you're looking for these. Ha! Huh. How? And when did you have the time to... I'll give them back to you, of course. But only if you've decided to be dishonest with your daughter. What? No. No, I was actually gonna throw them out. Quit a few days early. Hmm. Glad I could help. Sorry to keep you waiting. You know, you're gonna give me a heart attack before the cigarettes ever do. I'm easily able to resuscitate you should that happen. Oh, well, that's good to know. How's the boy? Physically unharmed. Deeply traumatized. I found him in another one of Scarecrow's makeshift haunted houses. This one was an abandoned funeral home in Sycamore Hill, elaborately staged to evoke raw terror in his hostage like the others. But this was something new. The exterior was dark, unguarded. Cell phone data placed the boy inside, but I decided not to take any chances with entry at street level. Scarecrow loves his booby traps. I slipped in through a second story window. Thermal showed six hostiles directly below me, guarding the door to the cellar. Bruisers with beer guts and sawed-off pool cues. More of the Scarecrow's biker goons. The abducted boy was down in that cellar. Every second I delayed was an eternity for him in Scarecrow's manufactured nightmare. So I decided on a strategy of maximum theatricality. Microcharges at my feet sufficient to blast a hole in the floor. Drop down on them from above in a hail of plaster and choking black smoke. Heart rates and blood pressure in all of them went through the roof. I've dealt with this gang before. They're twitchy and paranoid. But even better, they're afraid of me. So I made my move. The Scarecrow has a new trick. They were energized by their fear. I don't know what drugs he has them on now, but I know a synthetic adrenaline response. The more afraid they felt, the more focused they became. It threw me off my rhythm. 
I took a pool cue hard to the throat. Three of them rushed me and I was pinned to the floor, boots on my skull. The fourth apparently thought to bring along a chainsaw. I had one option, if I could just reach my belt. Rolled out of the way with nothing to spare. Bottom line, he missed his one shot. He was sweating profusely, wild-eyed, terrified of what I was about to do to him. But he still fought like the devil himself was giving the orders. I had sympathy for the mope, but that didn't mean I went easy on him. I heard something coming from the cellar. Infrared detected concentrated fumes escaping from the crack under the door. Hallucinogenic gas. The air down there was literally saturated with nightmares. I deployed the respirator in my mask, kicked in the door. I thought I was prepared for what was behind it. I was wrong, crouching at the foot of the rotten staircase. It made no sense. It was a helicopter. Hey, who do you think you are? You can't land that thing here. Apologies are due to patrons of this broadcast. The rest of Batman's harrowing report will have to wait because the airspace above Police HQ has just been violated by a whimsically decorated Sikorsky helicopter. I said you cannot land that bell hoy there! I say, what ho! <laughs> Oswald Cobblepot! Ahoy, I say! Permission to come aboard, Gordon Old Sport? What, what do you think you're doing with that thing? My whirly bird? It's new! Do you like it? You can't park that thing here! Actually, he can. The GCPD helipad is designated a public resource under the new provisions established by his civilian oversight board. Now there's a man with all the answers. Unless the question is, do you know a good tailor? <laughs> oh, I am good. Well, well, my chiropteran comrade. Long time no see, eh? Ah, so you two really do have an old boys club up here. The rumors are true. Yes, while you profiteer. We're working to bring the Scarecrow to justice. I advise you to keep your provocations from interfering with vital police work, Penguin. I answer to my name, Batman. Do me the courtesy of respecting that. As for your efforts to apprehend an unusually creative drug pusher in a spook house mask, oh, do tell. But what the good people of this city really want to know is, what about the Joker? Why is Gotham's public enemy number one still out there? Joker can't simply be hauled in off the street, even when he can be found. He's got extensive insurance. <laughs> what insurance? A vast network of disciples, devotees, willing hostages. There are untold numbers of desperate souls in this city who will do harm to themselves and others unless the Joker is around to tell them not to. He's like a cancer that has grown in the broken people of Gotham but he's also the chemo that's keeping them alive. Boulder Dash, the city deserves to be rid of that maniac. And I'm going to be the one to get the job done. Now go find a mummer's parade, you ridiculous kook. I've got real work to do. We've got eyes on him, Batman. I know you do, but there are going to be limits to our control over the situation. Harvey Dent's legal expertise has given Penguin appalling latitude. I can only imagine the strain on Harvey. He was in bad need of mental health care even before the Penguin started running him ragged. Well, at least he's been off the street. My guess is the Penguin has him medicated. It's a low priority. We need to remain focused on the Scarecrow. Well, I've got some good news on that front. Just got word from our undercover man inside the Scarecrow gang. His cover is holding. Says they don't suspect a thing. And tonight, he meets the man himself. If all goes well, in a matter of hours, we'll finally know the true identity of the Scarecrow. A mask of burlap, the vacant stare of a thing confected to terrify. But whose black eyes blink behind it? The answer is written in invisible ink by the cramped hand of life and death in Gotham City. Let's sing a song of six guns, a gullet full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds choked in the pines. And when the pines are rolling, the bats began to swing. Baseball 
news. The streak continues for the mighty SWAT flash hacker. Are you looking for a kooky clown? Are you looking for a silly clown? Are you looking for a tipsy clown? Then you're not looking for Blabbo the birthday clown. Not anymore. Yes, Blabbo the birthday clown has had a few ups and downs, but now he's as sober as old Mrs. Murphy. Hire him for your child's birthday, and the only thing you'll smell on his breath is laughter. Blabbo the birthday clown, you can call him, he'll be right down. Give him just a minute, though, to start his car. He has to blow into a hose. Enigmatic Harlequin. Absurd Harlequin. Irrepressible. The Harlequin is finally here. Harlequin. Gotham, a greenhouse of smoked glass where only the night flowers grow. Join us for another tale of life and death in Gotham City. Welcome to Crime Alley and the infamous Riverside Lounge. To call it a dive bar is an insult to holes in the wall. It's a lint trap for assorted lowlifes looking for some combination of violence and oblivion. The selection of top shelf libations on offer is easy to recite. There is no top shelf, or much else in the way of decor for that matter. A sufficiency of bar stools, a tombstone radio squawking on the sideboard, and an ancient billiards table covered in ratty scarlet felt. You scratched. Says you. I get ball in hand. You touch that cue ball, I'll bust your thumbs with it. It's not so much a local watering hole as it is a fleet-bitten menagerie of malfunctioning passions, which also happens to be a fitting description for the young woman suddenly standing in the front doorway. Look alive, you stew bums. Who said to start drinking without me? You got taters in your ears, bud? Huh? I'm pulling your leg. Come on, I'll buy you around. Sheesh, what a daisy. Harleen Quinzel has not slept in quite a while. Who can sleep? There's so much to do. Oh, boy, I tell you what, fellas, what a day I'm having. All right, bore me the usual, would you, Johnny? Ain't hey, get that trick elbow a workout, you bum. So get a load of this. Lady next to me on the bus wearing the tallest hat you ever seen has a goldfish bowl in her lap. Big goldfish bowl full of water. No goldfish. So I says to her, I says, Hey, lady, I think your fish got off a few stops ago. You know what she says to me? Uh... She looks down all surprised and she says, Why don't that beat it all? I thought he was just giving me the silent treatment again. Ah, oh, don't laugh. That's a stinker. All right, so what are we playing here, you mugs? Nine ball, Texas Express, no break box, Moscone cup, chocolate walk, boys. Who's got next? Hey, Johnny! Who the heck is this loony dish? I got no idea. Hey, where's that drink, Johnny? Do I gotta pour it myself? His name's Manuel. And he can't pour you your regular because you is not a regular. No? No. We don't know you from Batman, lady. What? Well, how do you like that? Huh? I thought this was a one of them joints where everybody knows your name. Huh? Well, apology accepted, fellas. Let's move past it. I came all the way downtown to this stink pit because I want to discuss a business proposition. That seems to have consumed the last of the goodwill in the establishment. The clientele of the Riverside begins to move menacingly towards the loopy interloper. Okay, lady. Hey, no, 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 no need to rush the dance floor, you skies. Okay, okay, you got me. Shop by. I'm new around these parts. Well, we usually don't take kindly to strangers, do we, Nero? Not kindly, no, Rosso. What do we usually take to strangers, Nero? We take a blowtorch to strangers mostly, Rosso, though sometimes we take a crowbar to them on account of that's better for the environment. Oh, whoa, you mooks laying on thick, I love it. And I don't want to waste a bit of that, Moxie, so I'll cut to the chase. I'm here on very important business. What business? It's simple. You see, a while back I was a doctor or something, but then I fell into a vat and became a waitress till my boss ended up dumplings and my banana rang and told me I needed to start a crime gang to get the Joker to marry me and now you're all caught up. So who's in and how soon can you start criming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. 
That is good Gotham crazy, lady. Marry the Joker. You? As if. Get lost, string bean gene. You ain't exactly the crime and type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go home and feed your turtles, lady. Okay, Rosso. Three ball, corner pocket. Exploding into an incandescent crimson fury, Harlene suddenly snatches the ivory billiard ball. Hey, what the? Put that down! The what in the? Sweet Petunia, she just took a bite out of the cue ball. I don't think you spider monkeys are getting the picture. Get out of the way! She's gonna flip the jumping table. Crackers, capiche? I needs me my man, or I'm fixing to I don't know what. But I'm keen to woodshed a few ideas on you chicken cutlets. Now you mugs getting on board the program, or am I kicking off this crime spree with a mass moita? Holy cannoli, it's a she-joker. They're like two peas in a freaking pod. Well... Hey, listen, lady, you're a natural. That much ain't up for debate. But you're kind of going about this all wrong. Yeah? Yeah. You can't get anywhere in this town without a solid gimmick. A gimmick? Yeah, some kind of an angle. Like, nobody's just a crook in Gotham anymore. You can't just go out there like plain Jane Doe. Crime is a big show now. You gotta have a theme, you know? A theme. A look. The works. No street cred in Gotham anymore without a solid gimmick. A gimmick. A gimmick. Uh-huh. Jeez, I didn't think of that. Oh, I ain't got no gimmick. Well, well, it ain't that hard. Like, just pick a nursery rhyme or an animal or something. Anything to get real wound up about. It'll give your crimes panache. Or, you know, can you make up puzzles or wacky scavenger hunts? That's always a plus. No, I, I ain't got none of that stuff. Uh, I, I can't even really think straight. I thought I could just do crimes. Huh. What's a good gimmick? Uh, with that, uh, you know... I can't do this by myself. I need another sign. Somebody get me a talking banana! Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll get you a whole bunch. Just don't bite any more pieces out of the joint, okay? We're begging you. But signs and omens can present themselves in many mysterious ways. And frequently, no tropical fruit is required. You don't get it. I don't got no time to waste. I need my pudding's attention pronto or else... <sighs> Huh? What's that? Who said that? I didn't say nothing. Somebody, somebody say my name. Yeah, you say my name, tough guy. We still don't know your name, lady. Shh, 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 Prepare yourself, Gotham City. The Harlequin is finally here at the Gotham Museum of Fine Arts. Come see the world-renowned masterpiece of the Harlequin, now the most expensive painting ever to be sold at auction to a private collector. On view for a limited public engagement, the Harlequin, the most exquisite of the Crimson Clown series that scandalized the art world a century ago. Get it on a tote bag. You gotta get it on a tote bag. And hey, even if you hate art, it's a pretty big kick seeing a goofy doodle that's worth a cool billion. The Harlequin at Gotham Museum of Fine. That's it. Harlequin. Clown. Harlequin. Harley. Harlequin. Quinn's the Crimson Clown. Harley. Quinn. <laughs> that's it. I see it. It's been deep inside the whole time. It's me. But with bells on. And just like that, the broken pieces of Harleen Quinzel have detailed blueprints for their reassembly into something new. Uh, lady? Call me Harley. And get your shoes on, kids. We're going to the museum. I suddenly got a billion reasons to want to get a little culture in my life. But first, peel all that red fell off of that pool table I trash and find me a needle and thread. I think I just had a socko idea for my new spring luck. And so we bid adieu to Harleen Quinzel, who exits stage left, but will return for a deranged debut in a brand new role later on in this delirious pageant known as Life and Death in Gotham City. To be continued.
Batman The Audio Adventures. Written and directed by Dennis McNicholas. Batman, created by Bob Kane with Bill Finger. Based on characters from DC. With performances by Jeffrey Wright, Aristotle Atari, Ike Barinholtz, Rosario Dawson, Steve Higgins, Toby Huss, Gillian Jacobs, John Leguizamo, Dennis McNicholas, Tim Meadows, Seth Myers, Bobby Moynihan, Chris Parnell, Katie Rich, Ben Rogers, Paul Shear, Pete Schultz, Brooke Shields, Brent Spiner, Keenan Thompson, Alan Tudyk, Bradley Whitford, Melissa Villasenor, Eli Brugerin, Doug Bossy, Ranjani Brow, Chris Gibney, Julie Larson, Erica Phillips, Rosie Phillips, Tony Phillips, Zoe Phillips, Deirdre Quinn, Robbie Wyckoff, Executive Producers, John Berg, Angela Petrella. Produced by Dennis McNicholas. Executives in Charge of Production, Shalene Desai, Peter Girardi. Producer, Tyler Dorson. Production Services by Cast Media. Producer, Colin Thompson. Coordinating Producer, DJ Lubell. Music by Doug Bossy. Sound Recording, Design, and Mixing by Big Yellow Duck. Sound Design, Mixing, Dialogue Editing, and Re-Recording Mixing by Chris Gibney. Dialogue Editing and Additional Post-Production by Julie Larson. Original Songs by Doug Bossy and Tony Phillips. The characters and events depicted in this podcast are fictional. Any similarity to any actual person, living or dead, or to any actual events, firms, places, and institutions or other entities is coincidental and unintentional. This podcast is protected under the laws of the United States and other countries, and its unauthorized duplication, distribution, or exhibition may result in civil liability and criminal prosecution. Country of First Publication, United States of America. Batman, The Audio Adventures. Copyright 2022, Warner Brothers Entertainment Incorporated. Batman and all related characters and elements are trademark and copyright DC. All rights reserved.